Uh, when I first met Dan Daniels, the maestro, as we call him, uh, with respect, um, it was uh, downtown Pittsburgh Liberty Hotel. They had a jam there on a Sunday afternoon, probably uh, close to nine, ten years now. And I sat in with them, and I'll never forget the the vibe we had initially. He just looked at me like, you know, I've heard of you and I've heard of him, but we never met, you know. And we did a couple songs. I believe it was a Sam Cooke song, and then the, the audience went crazy. And then after he shook my hand, he and he gave me his card and said. You should give me a call. I mean, we might get together and we could be dangerous. That's exactly what he told me. And we... You say I got a lot to learn. Well, don't think I'm trying not to learn. Since this is the perfect spot to learn. Ooh, teach me to die. Starting with the ABC of it Getting right down to the XYZ of it Help me solve the mystery of it Ooh, teach me tonight Been dangerous ever since, Maestro, haven't we? And I also work with John Seppala, a wonderful performer, uh, arranger, composer, brilliant piano player. Jeff Labus, uh, who worked with Van Morrison on the early '70s stuff, the Moon Dance album. So I've got to know a lot of these wonderful people, not just great musicians, but I've learned so much from them. I think Nicky grew up a big Elvis fan, and a Motown fan, and a Sinatra fan, and I think uh, you kind of blend those three facets together, and uh, you have Nicky D. So he just, he loves what he does, and uh, he loves, he's a music historian, I mean, he, you know, just the history of music, he's, he's really into, and um, he just got a lot of passion for what he does. Uh, Nikki D came years ago when I was in elementary school. Um, no one could pronounce my last name. They still can't. <laughs> There's been many uh, interviews recently and people just chopped my name up big time, but they couldn't say my last name, so they just called me Nikki D. My father's name is Nick. I'm, I'm Nick Jr. So I've always been Nikki since a young boy, and DiPaolo is my last name, and a lot of people couldn't say that. It, it's spelled with an A. D. Paola is pronounced with an O. I still don't really know, but. My name is Nikki DiPaolo, and it's spelled with the name, but people call me Nikki D, and it, it stuck. Even people that used to just call me Nikki, some of my older aunts and uncles, they call me Nikki D now. It's like, all right, but that's who I am. Well, putting this uh, whole Nikki D and the All Stars together was a wonderful experience, and. It's like a big game now that it's behind me. Of course, it's a little let down because it was such a two month process of you know making sure everybody was available and when we're gonna rehearse and what kind of songs we're gonna do. So again, getting back to Danny Daniels, he put it all together for me and he made the phone calls to, and he asked me what kind of budget I had. And I said, whatever it takes, I'm gonna make this happen because it's been, it's been a while. I haven't done any projects for a while and I was ready overdue for this. And, and I just wanted to do it right. So Dan got all the musicians together and I had some help from friends like I always do, thank God, because my friends have helped me my whole career financially to make sure that I get things done. And uh, we had a wonderful rehearsal a week before the, um, the event. We all, the rhythm section practiced separately and, and the horn section practiced on their own. Then we came together collectively on the Monday before the, the gig and it was just a magical night. And I, again, getting back to that confidence I never want to be overconfident or, I know when I'm prepared though, just like when I used to run. I knew when I could run 9-5 and I was, when I felt it that day and I did it. Just like I knew at the rehearsal, I knew everybody except two cats that I never met before and they were like, who's this guy? I heard about him, let's see what he could do. So I, I wanted to prove something to myself. 
that I could that I belong with this caliber of talent because every one of these guys is an all-star in their own right. And from the rehearsal to the two back-to-back -back venues, that I'm another blessing was because I believe if we would have just had the one gig, it would have been great, like it was. But I wanted them to show that it wasn't just a fluke either. I did it back to back, and I'm really proud of that. And they all said the same thing: like, Nikki, you belong. And whenever we need a gig, they're going to be behind me, the all stars. And you know, I got Dan Daniels to thank for that most of you because he really got everybody together, and we had a ball. I've been empty without love and I've been empty without money but for 26 years I've always had my career and that is the only joy that's always stayed by my side and I'm very proud to say that again because it's um, I believe I'm meant to do this I was born to do this because by now the good Lord would have brought me down another path by now I've been like I said empty many other many other areas of my life and many heart you know, heartaches, but when I sing, that's my life, and that, that's what I breathe, and I live for this. Like, like, like some of the athletes say, they live for that, I live for this, and it's the truth. You no, know, to sing and, and to just be seen as a singer, too, but I, I sing at home by myself. Like, I tell people, where, where I'm playing, I always say, this was my living room, and I, I used to sing in the house, and it's just another venue, obviously, but th this is what fills me up, performing, working with other great musicians who really bring out the best in me. And uh, it just, if I didn't do it, it really would, uh, it would be like I'd be a big hole in my heart, which I've had other holes in my heart, but not as a performer. I need to perform to survive. 